Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we'll be seeing one of the new features introduced in C++, that's inline function. Inline function is a special type of function which has been added into C++. First we will see what is inline function, what, are the, what is the need of inline function or you can say what are the advantages we are getting by using the concepts of inline function. And third, we'll see if we understand both of them, then exactly how we can create an inline function in C++. Okay, let's start it up. What is inline function? Inline function is a simple function, same as you used to do in a C. The only difference here is that the, in the function definition, you have to add a special keyword called inline in front of the function. So as and when you add a inline keyword in front of the function's definition that function will convert into an inline function it's a request it's not an order so it depends upon the compiler to convert that function to an inline or not so what exactly is inline all about or why we need inline what is the difference compared to a normal function and inline function that comes to the next generally if we create a simple function that is function is having n number of advantages that is it helps to reduce the code it helps to manage complex coding and everything is there that we know about functions but function is having some disadvantages also the disadvantage in the, in the sense is like as and when you call a function at that time the particular code or the particular pointer have to jump to that particular location to the function and at that location it has to execute the code and the pointer has to return back from there it has been jumped meanwhile it has to store the values into the stack it has to push and get the values from the stack so this all operation takes n number of times okay so as and when you call the function for n number of times it requires it wastes or you can say it takes much amount of time in storing and jumping from one particular location to another Yes, it is a disadvantage, but compared to the what are the advantages we get in function, these disadvantages are nothing. But as and when, if suppose your function is having hardly two to three lines of code, in that case, taking, creating such a function and making the system to have such a burden of jumping so many places, such a function's disadvantages comes into an eye. So there is only two options you have, either you don't create a function or else if you don't create a function then you have to write the code for the n number of places where you want to call the function. So that's not an ideal solution. The second solution comes with C++ is the inline function. So what do you exactly do here? So what's the difference here? The difference here is here that when you create a function, instead of just simply creating the function, you put an inline keyword. So what happens? Happens is nothing. Before compiling the program, the compiler will copy and paste all the content of the function into each and every location wherever you call. So basically, if you don't create a function, then also you are doing the task. That is, if you don't create a function, then you have to write the three to four lines of functions code in all the places where you want to call it. So instead of you to write that code, or instead of you don't want to write the code, or you can say like that, so you create a function but this function will not jump into that particular location here the pointers will not be jumping because before getting compiled and executed the content of the code will be pasted into the all places where you have called the function so instead of you writing the code it is the compiler's responsibility now to write the code here so this is the biggest advantage you are getting in inline function okay so yes it is true that it is a request so it may happen you have a number of lines and you say it's let it make it as an inline function no the compile is up to the compiler to decide it and do it all now it is if you have you may try this thing in different things the different I mean editors I'm using uh, Linux so it works fine if you're using turbo C programmers now there is a possibility that you may think about of uh, having a functions declaration that is you declare the function and the definition comes with them inline keyword is generally applied only on definitions yes it is true in linux you may work it out but in turbo c those users who are using turbo c older versions for them i'm requesting to use don't go for declaration only specify the definition else you may not find a result so that's one of the problems yes in vcc c++ it shows a solution so 
it's it's upon the editors you don't have to concentrate much on it only thing you have to remember as a programmer is that inline function is one of the features when you have two to three lines of code you don't want to waste much of time then you can create that function as an inline function just putting a simple keyword in front of it as inline it gives all the rights to you and then onwards your execution becomes faster yes one of the disadvantages you can say is that inline functions should be used very carefully that means what it is true that it saves times but it is also true that it takes more memory space so you have to think what is your requirement even it is has some problems with header files and all I don't want to get mess all those things but the important thing is like you have to decide if you have two three to four lines of code memory is not a concern execution speed is concerned then you should go for inline function in C++ if you have any other queries you can post to me on my email address or else you can post as a comment in the video okay thank you and have a nice day